Well, the breaking news this hour, the Home Office has now revealed that the first migrants set to be deported to Rwanda have now been detained. In a series of operations that took place across the country this week, we're seeing them on our screens now. It all comes on the same day as new data revealed that the UK's record uh, levels of immigration have started falling after tighter curbs resulted in a 25% drop in the number of visas issued this year. Yes, well, for more details, we're joined now by GB News Home and Security Editor Mark White. We're seeing the Home Office, Mark, releasing this footage of the first wave of migrants flagged for the Rwanda depo deportation scheme, essentially being rounded up, put in the back of vans. Is this PR or do we get the impression that there are a large number of people now who will be on those flights? Well, I'm sure that uh, opposition politicians might look at the timing of these raids um, coming just on the eve of the local elections uh, and be a little bit suspicious. However, uh, regardless of the timings, there is no doubt this is a very significant development after now more than two years since Boris Johnson, then Prime Minister, announced the Rwanda policy at Lead Airport in Kent. I was there as he told us about this bold new policy that went no f nowhere fast. Finally, there is some movement. Of course, we got that bill last week uh, brought into law now, paving the way for these flights, which the government tells us they are expecting now to take off uh, between nine and 11 weeks from now, those first flights. So in preparation for that, what you're seeing here are teams from immigration enforcement in operations that are countrywide, rounding up those that they have earmarked for uh, deportation to Rwanda. And we were hearing, of course, just the other day that some 5,700 individuals had been um, pre-notified uh, before it got caught up in the courts last year that they had been singled out for mm. deportation to Rwanda. So those mm. 5,700, or at least, at least those that they can locate, uh, they are now starting to round up. Mark, it does seem like they're sort of shutting the stable door after the horse has bolted to some extent here. After all, we were just talking about this yesterday, how there were thousands of those 5,700, 5, perhaps almost 3,000, who had disappeared. Um, could this be perhaps a Home Office response to that story? Well, potentially, yes. And the, the Home Office, though, would dispute uh, that anybody has disappeared. Uh, what they say is that they are confident that they will be able to locate all of those 5,700 individuals that have been earmarked. Ear, excuse me. <clears throat> ear, <clears throat> excuse me. Earmarked for uh, deportation. Um, and that is likely. Um, that um, the, 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 the sort of report, uh, reporting um, uh, stipulations uh, for those different uh, asylum seekers vary from one asylum seeker to the next. So while some in accommodation like hotels uh, maybe have to report uh, twice a month uh, to home office uh, uh, reporting centres. There are others, they say, who are staying with family and friends who have looser arrangements. However, as I say, to get back to the point, they say that they are confident that they will be able to locate uh, those that they have earmarked for deportation and be able to uh, round them up and get them off to Rwanda sometime soon. And Mark, this uh, just very quickly, this uh, <coughs> decrease in the number of visas that have been handed out, uh, the government claiming victory, is this down to policy changes or is this just one of those things? Well, the government has always said that it wants to reduce uh, the uh, net migration figures uh, into the country as well. Of course, a lot of that has actually been driven by student visas and the number there is up again. It's very lucrative, of course, uh, for universities across the country. But the difficulty, I think, with the uh, students is that many of them uh, are taking their families across. All those loopholes are being clamped down on. But that's good news, I think, uh, to a small degree, that some of the, the visa uh, granting, uh, the, the visa grants uh, have come down.